My name is Sarah Woodbury. I'm here with my husband Dan today to talk about Karoo Castle. So we're talking about Karoo Castle because our oldest son is named Karoo. No. <laughs> Karoo Castle fits very well into our narrative about the Norman conquest of South Wales. It is also an opportunity to talk about a fascinating woman named Princess Nest who's associated with that castle. First about Karoo though, it was built on land that had been occupied for several thousand years. It was built over the top of an Iron Age fort um, along the Karoo River from which the castle gets its name. The builder of the castle was Gerald of Windsor who was the Castellan of Pembroke Castle. Ness's father, Rhys Ab Tudor, who was the king of De Hybarth, was killed in 1093 in the fighting between De Hybarth and Pembroke. Nest was then taken to London and became the mistress of Prince Henry, the future king of England. He became Henry I. Um, she gave him a son. Gerald, meanwhile, as Castellan of Pembroke Castle, is continuing to fight against the Welsh and by 1094 had successfully beat back the rebellion. As his reward, he is given Nest, along with the land on which Carew Castle was later built. So Nest and Gerald build Carew Castle. Over the course of their marriage, they have five children. So now she's had six so far. Then she drew the attention of her Welsh second cousin, and I'll let my daughter Bryn, who wrote her thesis on one of Ness's descendants, tell you the rest of the story. So we are in what is the oldest part of Karoo Castle. Shortly after this tower was built, they were staying here, and Ness's cousin Owain came to visit. It's not clear why he was coming, whether it was for a festival. A lot of sources say he was coming to kill Gerald, and Ness certainly thought so. In any case, when he arrived, um, he and his men set fire to the wooden structures around this tower. And Nest and her husband woke in their bedchamber up there, which you now can't access because a lot of it's crumbled away. And she was afraid for his life. And so she told him to jump down the toilet. So they think that this is the toilet shaft where he jumped down and he escaped out here. She stayed up there and was captured by Owain along with her, probably about four of her children, and taken back to Wales. Nest then lives with Owain for six years, giving him two more children, so the story goes. Eventually, Gerald found Owen, and even though they were fighting on the same side of a campaign at the time, he killed him. The story is an example of how complicated family relationships were between Wales and the March, because Ness was a Welsh princess who was married to a Norman marcher lord and was captured by her Welsh cousin, and so it's not clear whether Owen captured her as revenge against a Norman lord who'd taken away his Welsh cousin, or if it was motivated out of desire or love for Nest, or if there was some other political machination going on there, but the relationship between those two, three people is emblematic of the complexity of the family relationships between the March and Wales. Uh, Gerald actually died the next year, by which point Nest's eldest sons were adults, and they marry her off to someone else, actually the Castellan of Cardigan Castle. William, the eldest, responsible for this, um, became the patriarch. The name was changed to Carew in the 12th century, and the family became very powerful. The second son, Maurice, actually goes to Ireland in the retinue of Strongbow, Richard de Clare, and is one of the conquerors of, of Ireland, uh, and the founder of the powerful Fitzgerald clan. What the story of the Carew family and Carew Castle and Nest speaks to is, on one hand, this meshing of the Welsh and the Norman, um, which happened a lot in South Wales, but also to the Norman trait of never being satisfied with just settling. There is always a quest for more land, more power, uh, more authority over the regions that they conquer. Next week, we're going to talk about another Norman lord, Robert of Ridlon, who attempted to conquer Gwyneth. If you like this video, click on the playlist or subscribe to my channel. There will be a new video next week. And if you want to check out my books, click on the link to my webpage.